want to backup and restore game save files on your modded Nintendo Switch. Doing this brings a lot of plus points, especially if you would want to download a save file from a specific game and want to play like when 100% is already achieved inside the game and you want just to see how it feels like to, to have 100% etc. Or you want simply just to cheat. Or another plus point is if you would want to have a save file and transfer it from one Switch to another Switch. Now guys, if you don't have like the mecha package from my Patreon, you definitely need to download a checkpoint and I will put the link inside the description where you can find it. You will just need to download the NRO file. You need to connect your micro SD card from your modded switch to your computer as you can see this is here one and then you will find there a switch folder inside of it and here you want to put in the checkpoint NRO. Once you have checkpoint point NRO on your SD switch folder then you can eject your micro SD card for that you can afterwards put it back into your switch and launch custom firmware. How do you like actually my new theme? I just made this on Patreon and everyone who's actually a supporter will get to download this. And as you can see it is same as the protagonist of Metroid Prime. But what we want to do right now is to go to any kind of game which we have on our Switch. We want to click and hold the R button and open any kind of game, it doesn't matter which one. And while we are doing this on a modded Switch, as you can see, we will boot up the HP menu. Now, why don't we go over the album into the HP menu? The reason is that if we are doing it like this, we will be in a sort of administration rights mode. In, or in other words, it is called the full RAM mode on the Switch, in which we can like actually use every switch and have more rights to do stuff. Now of course we're searching then afterwards for checkpoint, it will be somewhere here for you but I already have it here safe. So I'm going on it and then as you can see we will have here like many different games and what you want to do is to go to the game from which you want to create the game save file. So I'm going to Metroid Prime and as you can see I already have here a game save file. If I wouldn't have one I couldn't like back it up. But as you can see if we are going here we can like simply click here on L to back up selected save, yes we want to uh, back it up, progress correctly save to disk. What this means is that we have right now this game save file from our game in which we only played like eight, 48 minutes on our micro SD card. So as you can see on your micro SD card, if you are going then into the switch folder once again, you will find actually a checkpoint folder this time. If you go here inside and go to saves, then you will find um, here every game which you have. And I am right now a Metroid Prime Remaster. And as you can see, I have here right now the save point bin file. It will, for, for every game, it will be something else. It won't always be a save point bin file. But yeah, as you can see, since we have it here, we can like even rename it. It is test123 right now. I'm just going to call it test123. One, one, two, it's easier for me to see which one is which if we would have like more different game save files. Before I was in, in the Sysnet, right? Now, if I go into my Immunant, just that every one of you knows it, the Sysnet and the Immunant are two different systems. So it is like as if I would have right now another switch here, all right? On my Immunant, if I go then once again into uh, the homebrew menu in the full RAM mode, open up checkpoint again, then go here to Metroid Prime, as you can see, I have right now a test 1, 2, 3 and I know exactly which game save file this is. This is the one which we backed up earlier, as you can see, uh, 48 minutes. Now if I click here on restore, this time we want to restore it for that it actually goes inside the switch. Um, I will just right uh, click R, then restore selected save, yes, has been restored successfully, nice. If we are then open, opening the game we can actually play further on where we left, as you can see here. And this is something very, very cool and interesting. And many guys asked actually for this video, especially right now, Lexi Lee asked me for that. So here is the video. I hope you can learn something out of it and it helps you actually. I really, really hope that every one of you is doing great, that you're healthy, that you're nice and your family too. Don't you ever forget to smile. My name is you. I love all of you. Peace.